right, we're rolling. All right, this is an interview at the Four Point Sheridan Hotel, Manhattan. It is the 11th of January, 2005, approximately 9 a.m. Interviewers are Wayne Clark and Mike Russert. Could you give me your full name, date of birth, and place of birth, please? Marvin Stitt, S-T-I-T-H. Uh, Where were you born and when? Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, 12, 28, 25. Okay. Um, what was your educational background prior to entering military service? Uh, 11th grade. Okay. Do you remember where you were and your reaction when you heard Pearl, about Pearl Harbor? Yeah. Uh, when I heard about Pearl Harbor, I was 15 years old, still in senior high school. Uh, let's see. Then I was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. And then a couple of years later, I joined the Navy. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how you heard about Pearl Harbor? Yeah, on the radio. You did? Yeah. What was, do you remember your reaction in the family? Were you with your family? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, but I remember at, at 15, I didn't pay much attention to it. Mm -hmm. And they did. Right. But, uh, but it was a couple of years after December the 7th that I uh, decided to join the Navy. Mm -hmm. You enlisted? Yeah. Why did you pick the Navy? Uh, I don't really know. But I picked the Navy. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was uh, 17 at the time. But it took them a couple months to sign it. Papers, mm -hmm. parents' consent. Right. At 17. So I, I passed, when I passed the test, mm -hmm. they signed the papers a couple months later or something like that. Mm -hmm. I went in August the 8th, 1943. Mm -hmm. And from there, I'm from Philadelphia, I went to Great Lakes over North boot camp. Right. Camp Bob was small, company 1272. And at the boots. Now, how long were you up in Great Lakes? Ten weeks. Mm -hmm. and that's how long, you know, boot training was. And I went on boot leave for ten days, came back, and that station in the Pier 92. New York City here. Mm -hmm. Hey Marvin, let me ask you something. When when you were at uh, Great Lakes, uh, was your unit, was it integrated or were you with an all-black unit? No, it wasn't integrated. Okay. It was an all-black unit. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, at that time, it was segregated. Gotcha. But, uh, uh, let's see. If I'm not mistaken, In that big camp there, there I think Camp Lava Small, Camp um, Moffat. Well, I re remember two segregated camps were said. Mm -hmm. I think it was Camp Lava Small, which I was in, and another camp called Camp Moffat. And the other camp, uh, I think it was Camp Green Bay. For white. Okay. Uh, but then after that, at the boots, oh, I said that I got to Pier 92. From Pier 92, I might get a little mixed up here. From Pier 92, oh, from Pier 92, I went to Darien, Connecticut, the Roten Heights, Connecticut, and from there, I forget how long I stayed, not too long. Now what did you do in these places? Uh, but at Pier 90, I mean Pier 92, I was the guard. Guard? Yes, yeah, standing guard. What, what type 
What weapon did they issue you? Oh, the Mustang guard. We didn't have them, but the stick and that's it. Just the nightstick? Yeah. Well, I'll get to the point where we had okay. a weapon. I think I see now from there. Now, were you considered shore patrol or ju just a armed guard? An armed guard, okay. Was this the first time you oh, ever God. really? Was this the first time you ever really traveled? Actually, traveled, yeah. That's mm why -hmm. I always got got those places. You know. mm -hmm. Did and you uh, did you keep in contact with your family? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Writing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But Were I, you ever? Did you ever get homesick? I think so, mm -hmm. but it, uh, it didn't bother me too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the first time away from home. Yeah. But that was probably, that happened probably in boot camp. Mm -hmm. uh, and overseas, so I stayed overseas 18 months, 21 months before we got back. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so you did a lot of moving around with the Navy? Yeah, except I stayed 21 months in overseas. Right. That, and that, and we, when we were in Okinawa, uh, getting ready to prepare for the invasion of Tokyo. So, what was 
So you went to Okinawa after the battle was over? No, the battle wasn't over. Oh, you were still out? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That place was bad. The battle was over in Hawaii. The night in Okinawa, Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what ship you were on? Yeah. When uh, you went over there to? Oh, when I went over. To Okinawa? What kind of what kind of ship was it? A, a supply ship? Uh, I think it was a troop transport. Mm -hmm. Then we went over mm -hmm. and it came back. Oh, I think it was a troop transport too when we came back. Then I wound up uh, in Guam. So I got discharged. Mm -hmm. And from Guam, I got this, I didn't get discharged from there, but we, I went to um, Bainbridge, Maryland for discharge. Mm -hmm. I could have went mm -hmm. anywhere I wanted to be discharged at the time. Mm -hmm. What was it like at Okinawa when you were there? Well, very bad and dangerous. Mm -hmm. But. Um, we had carbines at that night. Now, were you on shore at yeah. Okinawa? Yeah. What were your duties? What were yeah. your assignments? Uh, I, we were unloading ammunition. Mm -hmm. Unloading. Okay. So even though you were loading and unloading ships, you still were carried weapons then? Yeah. We had carbines. Mm -hmm. Were you the under fire? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the new carbine at the time. Mm -hmm. It weighed four and a half pounds. Yeah, the M1, the M1 carbine. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, were you ever under fire there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, we lost. And my, we only lost one, one guy. Was your ship ever under attack by the the kamikazes or no? Because we were, no 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 we we missed that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were attacked coming over, uh -huh. going over, but we didn't get hit. We were attacked coming over, mm -hmm. not by, uh, uh, not by the kamikazes. The attack zeros. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, but I saw a lot of it. When uh, the entrapment was hit too mm -hmm. by Kamikaze. Mm -hmm. Now you were you there during that that typhoon they had? Yeah. What was that oh, like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went through. Let me see if I'm sure. I think I went through two or three typhoons. Mm -hmm. But I see. Uh, we had Kwanzaa Hut at this time now, mm -hmm. and the tin from the Kwanzaa Hut. Cut off somebody's head, but we were fortunate that now to us. Uh, only thing stood up behind the typhoon was some palm trees, just about because the clients mm -hmm. had the CBs that built us, the clients and hearts, and mm -hmm. they all went. Uh, so, other than that, let me see what. What was it like when you heard about the dropping of the atomic bomb? Oh, right. I was, let's see, I think I was about 300 and that's when we were supposed to go to Japan. Uh-huh. We were supposed to evade Japan, uh, what was that, August? Was there a lot of celebration aboard ship? Uh, it was celebration on the island. Uh -huh. I went aboard ship then. Okay. Uh, so we were glad, but we didn't get out then. Uh -huh. See, we, they brought out a system that guys with, I think it was six kids, got out first. Or a point.
point system too, I guess. I come out on the point and say, look, get the shit. Yeah. You guys are big out of Guys with six kids got out first. Then it went down the line. Mm -hmm. Then it came the point system. And I got out on points. Mm -hmm. Did you ever go into to Japan itself? No. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I was being discharged and went to Guam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you remember uh, hearing about the death of President Roosevelt? Yeah, yeah, how, yeah, how did you yeah, feel yeah, about yeah. that? I was in Okinawa then. Mm -hmm. That was sad. Mm -hmm. we, uh, uh, I was in Okinawa then, Easter Sunday. Yeah. Oh, you remember what day it was? Yeah, uh -huh. Easter Sunday. Yeah. yeah, he was the president of most of your lifetime. Uh, all my life. Yeah. Well, but, I came out under Truman. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. And we had a letter from Truman thanking us for our service. I don't have that now. It's all for, you know, all that stuff. But it was the most tragic thing we thought. But Roosevelt was well right. Mm -hmm. He was well right. Him, he's, uh, him and Kennedy. Well, I don't think no president was uh, more, more than Roosevelt because tears fell into our eyes automatically, uh, somehow, mm -hmm. just like John F. Kennedy. Yeah. But, the, but the, yeah, I think they were more closer to the people. People were closer to them. Mm -hmm. Now, you said you were discharged in Maryland. When were you discharged? Uh, I got discharged. April the 16th, 1946. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever make use of the GI Bill? Uh, yeah. Uh, I went to um, a posting school on the GI Bill in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. did, did you ever use that 5220 club? Oh, yeah. When I came out, yeah. We, we uh, I got, uh, I got all of that. Then we had a, in Philadelphia, or what did I say, Ben? We got a bonus. Oh, you did? Yeah, in, 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 in Philadelphia. I forget how much. Uh -huh. So you, you received a cash bonus after you left, sir? I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, in Philadelphia. Huh. huh. Every state didn't give uh, the veterans anything. But in Philadelphia, uh, they did. Huh. <laughs> did you um, <laughs> did you join any veterans organizations? Yeah, the North American Legion. Yeah. Are you active in, in it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been like uh, uh, Colonel Charles Young. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, ever uh, keep in contact with anyone that was in service with you? <laughs> well, uh, years ago. Mm -hmm. I uh, have, you know, recently, not uh, been many years now. Mm -hmm. uh, one friend of mine, we were buddies going in until we got out, I guess, and from Boston. And uh, when we uh, got out of boot camp and went to Pier 92, I just, he spent a weekend in Philadelphia with me, and I spent a weekend with him and his fans in Boston. Mm -hmm. and we, uh, but I haven't seen him in years now. I don't know if he's still living or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you think your uh, time in the service had uh, changed or had an effect on your life? That big effect. In what way? I don't think. Oh, the experience. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a great experience. Not in time of war, but it's a great experience. And I, I, I learned a lot. You know, you meet so many different people and respect. It's a positive thing. But well, then, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I, I 
I let to go back when I got out. So I was going to do 20 years. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I automatically I was a 10 year reserve. Could be called back any time within 10 years. Mm -hmm. So every time I got downtown to re up, I had the bar. Uh, I never made it back. Mm -hmm. But maybe it was good I didn't. Maybe. Because today I received a pension anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any photographs of yourself? Uh, no, not, I thought I saw that. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the only thing I got is the fifth. That's the two. Okay. Yeah, well, you sent us a copy of that. Oh, you got it. Oh, that's right. I did. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, thank you very much for your interview. Yeah. Um, you know, it's been so long, you forget something. Mm-hmm. And you remember something. Because you don't often think about it. But, you know, most uh, veterans of World War II don't talk about it. Even when we get to the, we met the post, you know, there's a few veterans, most of them there now are from uh, Korea. Not many Vietnam veterans, I think. Most of the Vietnam vets have their own thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank okay, you. Well, thank you.